What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. I know it's been a minute since I uploaded a video, but we're back at it. Just had a lot of work and business stuff to kind of catch up on. Um, but today we're gonna be going over my July and August 2021 trading bot returns. If you guys didn't know, at the end of each month, I show you in full transparency how well my trading systems that I built are doing or not doing. Are they making money? Are they not making money? That's what I show you guys at the end of each month to show full transparency because a lot of people on YouTube and social media are lying and they're not showing their real results. So I show you at the end of each month all my results. Now I'm two months behind because I've been very busy with work and business. But uh, today, here we go. So we're going to be doing July and August in one video. You guys are getting a two for one deal here. So let's hear, uh, let's, let's talk about my return. So at the top left here, you have my account numbers. You can see... Um, you know, SIM 101 here, if I click that, my results change. If I unclick it, there are actual call, uh, account numbers. And then this DU here as well, that's um, any any account number with Interactive Brokers that starts with a D is a paper trading account. So you can see that is unchecked as well. And it just has my U account. Um, I did switch my broker back to Interactive Brokers because I did want to starting into um, start getting into stocks and equities. Uh, and my, my previous broker only uh, supported futures. So I am back with Interactive Brokers now. So that's why you see three accounts here. Um, but going forward, it'll just be Interactive Brokers. So over uh, July to August, um, I made almost $3,000 in profit. Uh, my account size is in, is in the 50K range, so that's um, probably a 2 to 3% return. Um, the platform you're looking at here is NinjaTrader, which I use to execute my trades and build algorithms. Um, let me turn off percentage here because it's a little bit confusing. It, I didn't actually make 18%. Um, that's just... Um, ninja trader calculating it they don't calculate it based on your account size they calculate it based on the difference in price uh, and with futures because his leverage is totally different so um here's my returns for for those two months um two thousand nine hundred and fifty five dollars and 29 cents that's us dollars and that's net profit that's his after commissions uh and everything um i paid 248 dollars in commissions my profit factor was 1.19 my max drawdown was uh five thousand dollars which is a lot compared to my profit. Um, sharp ratio 0 0.48, Sortino of one. Uh, win rate was 50%. Uh, my average winning trade was $130. Um, my largest winning trade was $780. My largest losing trade was $1,400. So you can see that, you know, I had some big losers these past two months. My average time in the market was 138 minutes. Um, Profit per month, it's averaging 1,500, which makes sense because it was almost 3,000 over two months. Let's look with the equity chart here. See, it was pretty rocky. At one point, I was up over 6,000 in total. Um, you can see the day of the week on average, I made most of my money on Friday. losing on Mondays, uh, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Uh, okay, so what else do you guys want to see here? August was, has been, a, I guess, a losing month so far. Is that right? August, I'm down? Hold on, let me let me rerun this, guys. I swear I was up for August. Generate. This is August. Uh, oh, I guess I am down for August. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, it looks like August was red. But July was a pretty pretty good month. I can't complain about July. Um, okay, so overall my short trades are red. My long trades were green. Is there anything else you guys want to see here? There's all my trades. You can see I'm mostly trading uh, futures. Okay, so let's go over the uh, 
the my thought process for the last two months. So the last two months, the markets have been pretty sideways. Um, definitely on the uptrend, of course, slowly going up. And I think a lot of my strategies are starting to kind of fizzle out. So right now I'm switching for September, um, generating new strategies at the beginning of the month. And the, the way I generate those strategies is based on a month month basis. So I'm using seasonality. So like what happened during uh, last September, you know, 2019, September, 2018, September, and using that to generate strategies for September. Um, and then basically doing that at the beginning of each month where I generate a new batch of strategies for that month uh, using previous months and see if we're seeing those seasonality. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't even say it's seasonality because it's like, you know, that's on a quarter basis, it's on a monthly basis, but I want to see so far from my research and, and some of my back testing that, you know, what happened last September and the last September before that generally does reoccur. Um, on average, it's not 100% of the time, but it's more than 50%. So um, this September, basically, I'm generating, I'm optimizing or finding strategies in 2019, testing them out of sample in 2020 September. And if they pass, then I'm running them live um, this September. So I'm going to be generating strategies at the beginning of each month. Um, and then basically, you know, uh, doing that on repeat going forward, because I've been running the same strategies since March. And I think they're kind of losing some of their edge. They're not doing as well. Um, overall, you know, I'm still up for the year, which is awesome. But, you know, after June, June was a pretty big hit. And uh, it looks like August, I lost money as well. I thought, I swear I made money, but I guess not. So um, I think it's time to, to really start switching it up. In addition to that, I'm also getting into stocks. Um, I want to further reduce my risk and um, start getting into to stocks in a different asset class along with my futures. Um, and one really cool thing I built is uh, some, sorry, thought I was gonna sneeze there. Um, I built a really cool functionality uh, with my trading systems um, for risk management. And basically it's, it's somewhat of a capital efficiency code, which I'll be making a separate video about. But basically I can specify the account size that I wanna trade with. So say I wanna trade with 10 grand. Um, it will only use that amount to trade with. And if it's entering a new position from a, a different trading system, it will actually sell any existing positions to make room for that. And it will sell the appropriate amount. So for example, say um, my system buys a stock, right? It'll use the full 10,000 for the first stock, right? And then say an hour later, it, it decides to buy another stock it will sell 5,000 of the existing position to make room for 5,000 of the new position. So now I'm 5,000 of each of both stock. Um, and basically it's a, it's a capital efficiency method. So um, it reduces my risk a lot. And I think it'll actually increase my sharp ratio quite a bit because um, I'll be trimming off profits and on any you know existing positions. So I've, I've coded that and now with, with, with you know running my strategies with stocks as well, along with futures, um, I think we'll, I think we'll see a lot of reduced risk. Um, it was a bit tough to, to code that because with stocks it's easy, but obviously futures is different. You need X amount of margin to, you know, as collateral to buy that position. So I had to, you know, do some calculations with the margin requirements for each futures contract and then compare that with um, the stocks, you know, value, right? Stocks is pretty easy. You can just take account size divided by the close price to get the amount of shares you can buy. With futures, you have to um, take your account size divided by the margin requirement per contract to get how many contracts you can trade. So it was a bit of work, but um, anyways, yeah, I think it's gonna reduce my risk and, and I'm really excited for that for September. So that's it guys, here's my video. Um, July and August, 2021 returns made almost 3000 um, bucks. It's it's probably about a three to 4% gain. I think I have about like 55K in my account. So um, not a massive two months, but it is a gain. Um, I'm beating I'm beating a savings account in a bank, which is great. Um, and you know, as long as I can do double digit returns per year, I'm pretty happy. So um, here's my returns guys. At the end of each month, I showcase in full transparency how much I make or lose, right? Um, not a lot of people are doing this. A lot of people are relying on social media and I want to bring to light that, hey, you can be decent at this and also be transparent and real and genuine and actual show returns, right? Uh, that's what I'm doing to help you guys out. So 
Anyways, if you found value in this video, if you liked it, please leave a comment below uh, and let me know, um, you know, if you're trading systems, if you're getting into algo trading, or maybe you want to learn more, let me know below and maybe I can help you out. Um, and I'll be doing another video about capital efficiency very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that. Um, once again, I apologize for not uploading in a long, long time, but I just I had a lot of work to catch up on, uh, which is good. It's good for my business, but, um, you know, YouTube kind of had to take a pause for that. So anyways, I'm back at it guys, and we'll see you next week. Have a good one.